I want to talk briefly about uh, some stuff about the meta. We were playing the other day with uh, old backpack and uh, some wind timers, and when uh, the the I, someone brought up the auto attack Arthas build, and uh, to be honest, I'd never heard of that build before. So, what is that build, and when That's should you build. when should you use that build, and how viable is it in the right circumstances? So I call that the Tower Baron build. When I play in Tower Baron games, <laughs> I want to be able to live forever. <laughs> I go on that yeah, same here. Sorry, so he told me about that way back when they reworked him about that build. That was his top build. So what's the build? So the build level one, you can be, it can be anything. You can either be the the the, the D mana recover, it can be the block, or it can be the uh, the root. That one is, is on, that one is based on what you're going up against. But level four, you want to go with the icy talons. So your E gives you an attack speed bonus. At level 7, you want to have Rune Tap. And that's essentially yep. the auto attack build. Like those two talents at 4 and 7. So everything yeah. else after that is. They're open to interpretation and okay. situation. Yeah. So, okay, so when should you go this build? You go know this build when you're against tanks with no mobility. So I'd say versus Stitches. a Artanis, versus a Stitches, Stitches versus yep. a Twin Blades variant, or even a Taunt variant if you want. A like Garrosh? Yarosh tosses you into the enemy battle line, so it's hard. <laughs> but yeah. if you have a good ultimate, like a ancestral behind you, you can do it. But normally, you want to have a burst defense with like the icebound fortitude at seven, if you have against a Yarosh or something like that. But I say against tanks with low mobility, the auto attack build works great. Or even versus like thralls, versus Ragnaroses, versus even Cassia, she has to enter the Arthas range to do damage. So, can and this build work at diamond level? Provided the enemy team's draft is terrible. Yeah, I mean, the what the build does is makes your damage higher, basically. You, you're you more of a bruiser, so yeah. you don't want to be the solo tank if you're going this build, oh, most yeah. likely. Yeah. Well, I mean, terrible yeah. in that most teams don't go, you know, Varian or Tennis for their two tanks, like... Something's gone wrong there, right? You really want a better main tank. No, that happens all the time in my games. Like, no one wants to go full tank. They want to go with someone who can do damage. That's no one's going full tank. Everyone's doing something with a damage slant to it. <laughs> well, basically, what... <laughs> that's this build right here. Yeah. <laughs> damage slant. Yeah, you don't want a full tank because then you can't do damage. You can't impact the game. It's I like mean, it's like Sonya with a slow. He's just sta- standing there, and you're like, "Why the fuck isn't he dying?" And but <laughs> yeah. just keep in mind, you basically want to start a five v five team fight every time with full mana because you're going to be out of mana and like instantly when you yeah. when you're using this build. Mm, yeah, and you got a stutter step too to to make sure they don't get away too. You always stutter yeah, step. and bod- body yep. block, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it's really good against, as you said, versus low, low mobility tanks. Also, I've been playing it a lot in our games just because we have really bad execution. But if a hero is trapped in, or- in Arthas's aura, he's stuck in the aura. He's not going anywhere. Like, execution, you have infinite time to do it because they're always stuck. And so they'll die eventually. I say it gives permanence to the battle. Like This battle won't end until I die. But your Arthas with rune tap so you don't die. And it helps, yeah. it helps make up for bad execution on these very, very... Uncoordinated games. 